Good Tuesday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversation with Debbie News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. We, of course, you have your news headlines coming up on this Tuesday. If we say hello to June, we have the truth of the day with Mary Ellen Teganovich. And in today's entertainment spotlight, you're being part of my conversation with actor Michael Jai White. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversation with Debbie News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Tuesday headlines in national news. Biden honors war dead at Arlington, implores nation to heal. President Joe Biden honored America's war dead at Arlington National Cemetery on Memorial Day by laying a wreath at the hollow burial ground and extolling the sacrifices of the fallen for the pursuit of democracy, the soul of America. Biden invoked the iconic battles of history and joined them to the present as he implored Americans to rise above the division straining the Union, which he described in stark terms. The president was joined Monday by First Lady Jill Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and the Second Gentleman in a somber ceremony at the Virginia Cemetery's tomb of the Unknown Soldier, which is dedicated to deceased service members whose remains have not been identified. His face tight with emotion, Biden walked up to the wreath, cupping it in his hands in silent reflection. His eyes were wet. The gathered dignitaries and military families were hushed and solemn. In remarks that followed, Biden called on Americans to commemorate their fallen heroes by remembering their fight for the nation's ideas. This nation was built on an idea, Biden said. We were built on an idea, the idea of liberty and opportunity for all. We've never fully realized that aspiration of our founders, but every generation has opened the door a little wider. He focused much of his speech on the importance of democracy, saying it thrives when citizens can vote, when there is free press, and when there are equal rights for all. Generation after generation of American heroes are signed up to be part of the fight because they understand the truth that lies in every American heart. That liberation, opportunity, justice are far more likely to come to pass in a democracy than in an autocracy. The soul of America is animated by the perennial battle between our worst instincts, which we have seen of late, and our better angels, he said. Between me first and we the people, between greed and generosity. After the ceremony, the Bidens stopped by a row of gravestones in a cemetery where some 400,000 are buried in the gentle hills and hallows. In more national news, hundreds gather at historic Tulsa Church Prayer Wall. Hundreds gathered Monday for an interface service dedicating a prayer wall outside historic Vernon African Methodist Episcopal Church in Tulsa's Greenwood neighborhood on the centennial of the first day of one of the deadliest racist massacres in the history of our nation. National civil rights leaders, including Jesse Jackson and William Barber, joined multiple local faith leaders offering prayers and remarks outside the church that was under construction and largely destroyed when a white mob descended on the prosperous black neighborhood in 1921, burning, killing, looting, and leveling a 35-square-block area. Barber, a civil and economic rights activist, said he was humbled even to stand on this hollow ground. In more national news, study blames climate change for 37% of global heat deaths. More than one-third of the world's heat deaths each year are due directly to global warming, according to the latest study to calculate the human cost of climate change. But scientists say that's only a sliver of climate's overall toll. Even more people die from other extreme weather amplified by global warming, such as storms, flooding, and drought, and the heat death numbers will grow exponentially with rising temperatures. Dozens of researchers who've looked at heat deaths in 732 cities around the globe from 1991 to 2018 calculated that 37 percent were caused by higher temperatures from human-caused warming according to a study published on monday in the journal nature climate change in sports agent to the associated press naomi osaka has withdrawn from the french open naomi osaka withdrew for the french open on monday and wrote on twitter that she would be taking a break from competition a dramatic turn of events for a four-time Grand Slam champion who also said she has suffered long bouts of depression. Osaka's agent confirmed in an email to the Associated Press that the world's number two ranked tennis player was pulling out before her second round match at the Clay Court Tournament in Paris. A spokeswoman for the tournament said the French Open was not aware that Osaka had formally withdrawn from the field. And finally in entertainment news, Gavin McLeod, Love Boat Captain, dies at 90. 
Gavin McLeod, the veteran supporting actor who achieved fame as sardonic TV news writer Murray Slaughter on the Mary Tyler Moore Show and stardom playing cheerful Captain Steubing on The Love Boat has died. McLeod died early on Saturday at his home in Palm Desert, California, said his stepdaughter. She attributed his death to his age, saying he had been well until very recently. He had one of the most amazing, fun blast of life of anybody I know. He enjoyed every moment of it, his stepdaughter said in a statement. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's now time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Teganovich. Mary Ellen, it's all yours. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Approach new ideas to gain wisdom. Interact with individuals with widely differing points of view. Make sure you address them with respect and sincere curiosity. These people you converse with will give you the same level of consideration because they appreciate the fact you have not challenged their opinions or beliefs. Your choice to be as non-judgmental as possible will add to your sphere of influence. People see you as having respect for all people. This mutual respect and consideration you show to others will bridge the gap between people, showing them how to interact peaceably. Today, learn more about how others think. Respectfully try asking them questions as you go about and enjoy the day. Acclaimed actor Michael Jai White is featured in today's Entertainment Spotlight. We're here on Conversations Daily News. For Conversations Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Acclaimed actor Michael Jai White joined me on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about his remarkable career and what it's been like for him to share his work with the world. Here's a bit of our conversation. But you've been in this unique position, Michael, of being able to do what you love, not only in front of the camera, but also in martial arts. What has that been like for you, Michael, to take your passions and to be able to share them with all of us? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed behind it because, you know, I get a chance to do what, what's in my heart. And so, um, you know, but I, I felt blessed early on because uh, there was a time where I learned that uh, I was following my dream. And once I learned that piece of information, I felt like, okay, I, I've already won. Everything else to me is just, it's gravy, you know? So yeah. that, that's my attitude going forward. And no matter what, I'm going to continue to try to just do my best. You've been able to reach people who enjoy, you know, the drama, enjoy the comedies, enjoy the action. How does that feel to have this cross-section of support from so many different arenas you've been a part of? It, it, feels, it feels great. I don't, I'm, I'm, I guess I... I keep moving forward, and I I don't really reflect too much on it. I know it's a good thing, gotcha. But I so much that I want to accomplish that I I I'm not very reflective a lot of the time. Talk to us about that project and what it's been like for you to see the way that, especially during the pandemic, people have been responding to it. Well, I, yeah, I'm I'm finally getting the chance to play characters that are closer to myself. Uh, I I understand I have to pay the dues and you know. Play, play, play characters that sometimes I don't know. I mean, paint you a, a certain way. There were people that used to be just frightened of me because I played a lot of their, <laughs> these these rough characters, and friends of friends would say, "Oh, I saw Mike," uh, but I, I didn't want to go up to him because you know I'm kind of scared. I'm like, "No," and my friends are like, "No, he's a nice guy." Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning into this edition of Conversations Daily News. We'll be back to guys on tomorrow for more news. Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Tekanovich and of course your entertainment spotlight. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's make today a great one. Take care.